In today's HealthCast, there's a promising treatment now out for people with the second most common form of blood cancer, multiple myeloma. The FDA has just approved a brand new therapy. It's a great approach to reduce the risk of the disease progressing. The words multiple myeloma never crossed Paul Hollingsworth's mind until the spring of 2020. He went to the emergency room for severe back pain, only to learn that this form of blood cancer had invaded his spine. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm going in for just a shot for pain. So the neurosurgeon comes back and says, I have two things to tell you. Uh, one is you have multiple myeloma. And secondly, if we don't do surgery today, you may not walk tomorrow. Multiple myeloma is a blood cancer that affects the immune system. It starts in the white blood cells called plasma cells. But they actually cause uh, our organs to damage. For example, they can cause kidney damage and occasionally they can even cause heart damage by depositing in those organs by causing a disease called amyloidosis. Dr. Chakra Shalagane, director of the Multiple Myeloma Program at Cleveland Clinic Weston, was part of the early clinical trials for an immunotherapy approach, now approved by the FDA, which targets the myeloma cell. And by binding to that myeloma protein, it selectively kills the myeloma cells. And it's not that only that, it also activates our immune system. Paul underwent surgery to remove the mass in his spine. Physical therapy to learn how to walk again. Chemotherapy, a stem cell transplant, and finally, immunotherapy. This stage, a year later, I feel like um, I was basically born again, in a way. So I'm very happy with the progress in about two weeks ago, after seeing Dr. Shaw again, I learned that I was in complete remission. So, very happy about that. And we're happy to hear that too. Multiple myeloma accounts for about 2% of all cancer-related deaths. Paul's case is really unusual because the disease usually affects people over the age of 65, and he was diagnosed at 50.